Hey guys, Ruben here. Today I want to give you a walkthrough of a ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9-100. Uh, it's called Hydrogen ICS, which is an ice cream sandwich ROM. And um, I'm just going to run Quadrant here in the background while I talk about it. Um, so as previous score I just did, we'll just run this benchmark here. Okay, so we'll let that run. Basically, this is an ice cream sandwich ROM based on the AOKP, the Android um, Open Kang project, I believe it's uh, pronounced. Basically, um, it was a ROM released on the Galaxy Nexus in December 1st, and it's branched its way out to a couple of other devices. Um, it's based on CM9, but includes many tweaks and performance tweaks and settings tweaks to just make it that much better. In my opinion it's a lot better than Cyan Engine Mod 9. Um, so that's just my opinion. So yeah, it's an ice cream sandwich ROM. Uh, what does it feature? Well it's really fast. Um, obviously I just want to say about its benchmark, numbers aren't everything. But it is a really fast ROM and it's really nice to use. Battery life is okay. Um, I can get probably about 7 hours of heavy usage, 6-7, which is alright I suppose. Um, so yeah, that's the Hydrogen ROM. It's um, it's actually created by a guy called Paradox. I think he um, I think he created or he ported this ROM to the Samsung Galaxy S2 i9100. So I'll just let it finish off here. Just look at this benchmark, and as you can see, it says there 3,100. 33. On average I'm getting around 4,000 so um, that's fairly good. So what you're going to get in this um, ROM, well you basically get all the Android Open Kang project settings uh, and they're under ROM control in the settings menu and then you get loads of options including the navigation bar which is the black bar and the Galaxy Nexus at the bottom. You can enable that which is which I like a lot. Sorry. You can do loads of things. I think you can turn off the um, the lock screen, you can choose style of the lock screen. Um, I've got it stock at the minute. You can also, there's also power saving options which I do have. And, uh, and other things down here I just want to show you is the performance section. Here you can choose maximum CPU frequency. This does it, you can't overclock it. You can underclock it, but you can't overclock it. As you can see, 1.2 GHz is the maximum uh, with these governors, which are, I think, stock anyway. Uh, so yeah, these are all your performance you can change, settings. Uh, so all your ROM settings for this ROM are going to be in, in there in the settings menu. Uh, I just proved here that the latest version of the ROM has Android, is based on Android 4.0.4. Um, so that's obviously the latest version of Android out there. So you're getting the very best. A couple of other features I like are the settings. As you can see, you can enable the weather in the... Uh, in this in the navigation bar and you can click on settings here and you get the quick options for brightness etc and then in the status bar up there we, as you can see I've changed numerous options including having a percentage for the battery instead of the battery icon having a day site having the, the day sorry up in the bar just in case I forget you know and then pm and am etc so uh, overall, it's a very fast ROM as you can see. I've had no problems with it whatsoever. Uh, it's very nice. Just another thing I wanted to mention: it has a standalone app um, called Galaxy S2 Settings, which allows you to choose things like HSPA only and um, HSUPA, which are just your network speeds. You choose <coughs> so about. Numerous, op numerous, op bleh, numerous options for your screen, including the, you know, you get this on the default Samsung Galaxy S2 anyway, I think. Um, it just basically brightens up the screen if you wish to. And then you can get, um, this is a particularly useful one here, you can enable the keys backlight, so if you disable that, as you can see, they disappear. I suppose it saves battery a bit, but not a lot. Um, enabling that means that the, the lights are on whenever the screen's on, you know, even if you're outside, they're on. 
um, it doesn't work by the proximity sensor, it's just if the screen's on, then uh, then that's on. The uh, the camera also works, and obviously the recent version of this ROM includes full 1080p video support, uh, which is what I have it on at the minute, um, and then obviously you can get the basic 720p, 480p, etc. And then it, the camera works fine as well. Um, up to 8 megapixel obviously uh, sensor as you can see here, picture size and as you see I've just took that one it's very fast and pictures look alright <laughs> so that's the hydrogen ICS ROM based on the latest version of Android Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0.4 .4. thanks for watching guys, please rate, comment if you have any questions and subscribe um, peace out guys.